Wildlife Wednesday, and we're going to start off with a little friendship. <laughs> I love these photos from Christy Pierce. She has a whole calendar of uh, these. You can pick it up at uh, Auntie's and uh, other local spots, but uh, she p puts out some props, and the chipmunks come, and she's ready to snap their photos, and this is perfect for today. Uh, thank you, Christy. Another great shot here from John Lotta. The Eagles are back at Lake Coeur d'Alene, and I've had some incredible uh, photos uh, sent in, and this is just one of them. They're all so different. Uh, special shot there. Here's one from Larry Crumpleman of some Barrows Goldeneye, a pair of them uh, on a sunny day. We had a bunch of those, not many in the forecast, and finally another Eagle shot. I love this one from Mark Vote. Uh, just before sunset, coming in to get dinner, and that's his dinner right there. A uh, fish you can see just on the surface. I'm going to show you the computer model forecast starting off at our current time uh, to show you the hit and miss rain showers that are going to be coming in overnight. All is rain in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene with some snow in the northern valleys, up to an inch of accumulation, mainly in the mountains, but you could see a little bit on the grassy surfaces down in the valleys as well. Here's 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. We don't dry out completely, but should get some pretty good breaks for a post-dinner walk or uh, anything outside you might have planned. Here is tomorrow at 6 p.m. That's when our next round of wet weather comes in. Again, staying as rain for most of the valleys with some a little bit heavier snow in the mountains with this next round. And then once we're into Friday, that snow level is going to be dropping down to the valley locations. We have a winter storm watch for Friday afternoon through Saturday morning for the central panhandle, up to four inches of snow in the valleys, up to nine inches of snow in the mountains. Apple Cup forecast. Not that great. Rain on the drive down at 3 o'clock. Then we start to see a rain snow mix as the game gets underway. Winds picking up, gusts to 30 miles per hour. The drive home, uh, I would expect snow and expect some snow sticking with the blowing and drifting snow possible as well. Here is your seven day forecast. I have a three on our weather alert because of the wet weather, especially on Friday. Things melt out a little bit for the weekend should be pretty decent travel even over the passes.